the birds agree and I literally just felt that. And it's, it's something beautiful. It's like there's so much going. You can see all of this devil and tower card in the past. But this person or this energy that's coming toward you, they, it's like brand new. They don't come with the baggage. It's like they come with such a beautiful light. It shines the past away. Okay? And they always come with information and a good energy and lessons that you can learn from and apply in your life. And then they leave. <laughs> it's like the sun that comes through and then it goes. I literally feel like that's how it is with this person that's about to come through for you today too. Hi there, Cancerian. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. And I do hope that you're feeling well in this time. Much love to you. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing the messages with those you love and for being a subscriber here. So if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you find when you find the messages resonating with you, these are going to be general tarot card messages in love for today for the sign of cancer, because these are general messages. All of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest of them. Bye. All right, so like I say, welcome and thank you for being here. Breathe in here with me and let us hope to get the most accurate messages for your daily tarot today, Cancerian. And this is love. So this is supposed to be something that's going to happen to you for, by the end of today in love. All right, so let's get started. Right now, I feel you are relying majorly on your own sense of intuition what you know your roots your self there may be offers coming in around from you messages ideas love from other people but you're not sure yet if you're ready to be really open or this is your past energy really okay in love i feel like you've had connections before and it's made you reopening up to love a bit more difficult but that's also beautiful because you're becoming stronger i feel but the more experience you have you're more discerning of what you want and you are more detailed in um the love that you want to experience coming up next so I feel like you're moving past a toxic relationship with the devil vibration that, you know, I feel like you decided to stop having intercourse or just giving this person your attention and your energy anymore with this devil here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire, okay, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person, it feels like they had a chain around your neck, but this was past energy and I really don't want to go into that for today. We, go, we want to focus on what's to come, okay? Also, in the past, something happened, that something ended in your past connection. All right? <clears throat> A relationship. I also feel that you're detoxing right now, as I speak. Like, you're going through detox. You're releasing old energies, thoughts, feelings, ideas, beliefs, patterns, habits. Like a lot is tra taking tra um, place for you, changing transitions with the six of swords vibration going on in your experience now, especially relating to devil vibration. That's why you're in, you're using your discernment well. You know, you're not just going to let any thought, any deed or intention from just any external source come in and throw you off balance. Really? When you know who you are, high priestess, okay, you're connected to your ancestors. The sun is here for you. So that's what I'm saying. You know, you're sitting more with your heart space. Okay? Or that was your past energy, but it also comes over in current energy and love. All right. In the midst of things. Now I feel like you're getting something new. Possibly a new relationship. Or if not, just a new feeling. New desires. The Ace of Wands is this heart full of love and heart full of desires and feelings that wants to be expressed. Okay? Like maybe once it, you're having new ideas and new clarity, new feelings to, to procreate, to share yourself, 
to have land, to, to be grounded, to have a place of rootedness, maybe to have your own family, your own um, generation, to have an influence on your own generation. You know what I mean? Maybe to have generational wealth and prosperity or just to start your own family. And I'm seeing land, home, just building something from the scratch with your own rooted family here, Ace of Wands, that is so powerful. As I see this Virgo energy here represented by this Hermit card, someone could be seeking to come back around to you, Virgo possibly. This could be a past person. This could be a person that you're thinking about, thinking about connecting with. This person could be thinking about you or just really wants to remain relevant. This person could be talking to you or wanting to speak to you about and they could be doing this telepathically or energetically about something having to do with this land or this home or this new feeling of love that is coming up in you. I feel like this person feels, realizes that you're really moving forward. Tell me more about this Virgo energy. Please. You know, last night I had a strange dream, but I can't really remember it. But hearing the... the helicopter flying by i know it had something to do with the beach and some emergency situation going on around us um but i can't remember it i can feel it, it was a bit alarming in the dream <sighs> uh, maybe it works with this person maybe this person has a business idea to share with you maybe this is employment or this is a person that is a fire sign that has their own business uh, and they're seeking to maybe come back around it's something about control or sex for this one okay maybe that's why you're using your discernment no i feel like with the hermit you could I don't know, but something is changing for you in love. Because Virgo energy is also Venus, love. It's, it's, um, it's almost like going up into the stars. Like going away for some solace. Like a wise man vibration that has connection to the stars, links. To the stars, to the sun, to intuition. Maybe to, to prayer. Maybe this person is praying for you, honestly, you know. They're praying for a new beginning with you. So this person may reach out to you today. And I feel like they hope you answer their call, even though they may be coming back around with some toxicity. This person may be moving on, moving forward, or wanting to tell you that before they leave. Or it's not true. Something is not true with this person. See, your intuition is here with the high priestess that's telling you something. It's connected to this four of wands, your house, a marriage possibly with this person that you had. Or an almost marriage. A new beginning that you are having. But I want to tell you before we go any further that the sun is on your side. The sun card is here. It's prosperity, success in marriage. I feel like you can look forward to a new beginning. The answer is evident. The light in you. The intuition in you. The knowing. This person may be moving toward your home. Or thinking of doing so. But I feel cancer someone is moving toward you today. Or this is you moving today. Or an action that is about to be taken toward your home or toward you. Or it's a telepathic connection coming into your vibration. But with the sun card, I feel like, what, you know, you will know the truth. I love the sun and the high priestess here for you. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so divine. I'm getting the energy of a time I was in. I was very young in, in, in preschool. No, 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 no. I was in grade school. But something about that feeling. I went somewhere and it gave me a feeling. You know, you ever gone somewhere strange and it just gives you a feeling of a long time? Like nostalgia. 
as if something has happened before but it's in a feeling it's not like deja vu it's like a, more like a feeling of familiarity but the sun and the high priestess is almost feel like your your family your home you know who you are it's you know it's the energy of um being in a uh what is the name of that movie with the magic harry potter mm -hmm. it's like being in a school of people that you you feel like home here you feel like home is here that you can be yourself you can let your magic down that's the energy i'm feeling with the sun and the high priestess it feels like you i can't i'm getting a very emotionally i just i'm getting a really emotional feeling like crying like i feel like connect i'm connecting with that kind of a magical family so to speak like i'm home like i'm in their presence with the sun energy you know it's the energy of going up on stage to do something and feeling a bit anxious or scared but then you know that your family is in the audience and they're holding you you know they're holding you they're there they're saying it's okay you can do this that's the energy of the high priestess and the sun it's that beautiful kind of support and feeling and belonging trusting in your intuition and knowing where it radiates from knowing that yes this magic is real like yeah you can do this so that may, may that may be for some someone out there. It may be because you're going up against this hermit and the devil vibration and something happening in your past that may want to come back around to trouble you some to, in some way, shape, or form. Like this person may want to propose to you, but your mindsets because they may dazzle you, you know. You you gotta be firm, determined, focused, stern here. So you've got this, look, King of Swords, for this one that's about to come up in your experience and I feel today, no, I literally feel like this person is listening now, this hermit, this Virgo, I can't explain it any more than that, anywho, so in the, in, in the, in the outcome we have the sun, which is like I say, your family, your home, realizing you're a child of the sun, you're not alone, you feel more confident, more belonging. Um, this could be a person that's coming around to you, a fire sign, a Leo. The birds agree and I literally just felt that. And it's, a, it's something beautiful. It's like there's so much going, you can see all of this devil and tower card in the past. But this person or this energy that's coming toward you, they, it's like brand new. They don't come with the baggage. It's like they come with such a beautiful light. It shines the past away. Okay? And they always come with information and a good energy and lessons that you can learn from and apply in your life. And then they leave. <laughs> it's like the sun that comes through and then it goes. I literally feel like that's how it is with this person that's about to come through for you. Today too. Okay. And then we have the star card which is healing restoration. And it is in your hopes position. For something to be restored and brought back to balance. And I feel like you can see that it is done. Look. The tower card, something ended. The star card, something being restored. And I feel like it's what was taken from you or what you weren't giving in a, given in a previous relationship. The breadcrumbing, the shard changing, the manipulation, the tactics, the strategies, all of that. You're like, oh, I'm not ever dealing with that anymore. And you're looking for balance, for sun's light, for divine connection. This could be a fire sign or air sign water sign coming up for you okay a new person a new feeling a new a transition going on you know and and it may lead to marriage it may lead to someone coming around to your home or you know something like that 
the outcome of this reading is the queen of pentacles that looks like you're receiving something today um it could be a marriage a ring or money or it could be just good feelings with the Queen of Pentacles, you could be receiving something generous today, a generous amount of love and abundance. Like I say, it's like the shining, this person that's coming in, it's like, I'm telling you, it could be a friend, but it's supposed to be love. It is this beautiful energy of a person that's going to come around to your life and you're going to like, and they're going to, it's so abundant. It's like they're going to generously give to you. All right, all of themselves, just their vibration, because this is material success in abundance with the sun energy. That's a lot of prosperity. So this people, this person, I'm saying these people. So this could be a people, a group of people. I don't know someone moving around to you. These people helping to restore balance, mental balance, clarity, feelings of well-being, and you're going to receive so well. It could be music. It could be just a feeling that you're getting. But it's supposed to be a love reading. We have the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups there. It talks, talks about following in your heart space. Um, so just, I feel like, be open to receiving from the sun. It's beautiful for today. And that's love. And I feel like this love is also really sharing with you or giving to you so that you understand how divinely connected you are. Remember that I was saying it feels like you're connected to your family, your spiritual family, your soul family. Okay. So receive well with the Queen of Pentacles. That is what it's saying. It's generosity, feeling secure, feeling magnificent in yourself and also being liberated. You know, so this Felix person is like, maybe some, someone is going to open your eyes. This is an enlightenment. Someone is going to pour some feelings of uh, uh, enlightenment or awakening into your heart space just into your vibration today and it's beautiful listen i can't say it enough it's the sun it's the star it's restoration you know so if you're gonna be getting from the most high something and you are receiving it generously and it could have something to do like i say with your home art with a a union, a divine union. What is the sun energy in this reading? Angel spirits, guys. What is the sun energy for cancer? The three of pentacles. Now, this is so amazing because the three of pentacles is my sun energy in plain card. Like, it represents sun for me. And it says truth and light. Um, it says being graced, full expression. It says sun divine vibrant expression forgiveness it says you 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 have my attention so i don't know someone is going to give you some attention like their full attention i'm telling you it's like this strange person walking into your yard and they come in with this big beautiful smile and they're coming for you directly to you and they're sitting there having this beautiful conversation with you just sharing themselves so abundantly generously and you're sitting here like receiving so well and then i feel like they leave i i feel like they leave with the with the with the six of swords they just move on happily as full like this person feels like magic the two this is your zing this hap this is supposed to happen this could be an earth sign a fire sign air sign water sign okay the two of the two of pentacles talks about a zing you know um feeling good two people feeling good that comes together and unite soulmate energy as well a person with a decent value and a decent mind that's what i'm saying this person is coming with intelligence they may be sending you a message for some of you that's not going to physically see this person can be message or download okay but it's like they have similar values as you and it's like oh my god what you're receiving from this is so beautiful just you're just going to sit there and absorb as this this magnificent beautiful thing just comes around and just gives so generously to you today okay and you're receiving it you're like dumbfound like look at you as you receive this is pentacles once more Pentacles, 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 sun. All right, let's look at something. All right, let's. So 
something you're going to possess. Value pentacles energy again and the gift and giving once more with the pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They this is having value, really want to hold you. So in love, this is a person that really, really wants to be with you, to hold you, maybe wants your forgiveness, you know, feels like they're your you're their soulmate. And this one says flirtatious, dazzle, and giving you some attention. Okay. All right, maybe this person is taking a break from work to do so or finding the time to, to give you this beautiful amount of attention. This card at the bottom of the deck, I wrote on it, I really love you, but I do not have what it takes to give all of my attention to you at this time because I have work to do. I'm juggling with work. And, and since I wrote this card, I always got the feeling like you may feel like this person may feel like they're juggling work, but they can actually find time if they want to, you know. They can find the time. So I feel like this person is now giving you this attention. But the sun, you know, they found the time to do so. So it could be a past person or it's a new person that's giving you what you've always wanted. And this is today's vibration. Let's clarify the four of wands. Oh my goodness. The seven of hearts and the seven of swords. Okay, the seven of hearts says marriage, the seven of swords says being stern, focused, determined, and being strict, standing up for what you're believing, having your boundaries, you know, asking and being direct, asking for what you want and saying what you stand for, writing it down, putting it out there, say these are my rules, are, these are my requirements, okay, and loving yourself in the process. Knowing that you don't have to shortchange even yourself. You don't have to settle for less. Stand firm. And that's how you're going to be receiving all of what you deserve. Because you're asking for what you want. And I feel like you're really not letting the past get in the midst of this. Past emotions, past experiences. You know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. The four ones. A divine union, air sign, water sign. Could be coming together with a with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Powerful Aquarius energy with a star. Card. Okay. I'm telling you, it could be a marriage because we have the four ones and in the marriage, the literal marriage energy. Because I wrote marriage on this card. And it came out to this to define the four one. So this person may be coming around for forgiveness and maybe proposing marriage to you. Will you accept this? You know. Let's continue. What is the what else should we clarify? Let's clarify the ace of wands. The ten of pentacles. It may be a gift. Hope, prosperity, assurance, money, dreams, wishes. The feeling of this is someone who's dreaming of connecting with you once more. It's like they sit at night, look up at the stars, and their mind and heart is just filled with visions of you guys coming together, both of you. That's all they think about with the star card. So it could be this fire sign, like I say, with the sun energy that wants to come around to you. Let's see what the queen of um, pentacles is. Marriage card comes out once more. Maybe coming from this person is always watching you, this spy jack of swords. I'm feeling creative to create love. This person wants to create with you. They want to make a new life with you. Let's get creative. Let's create. Let's create magic. In this energy, when I wrote this, I'm feeling like this is the energy of making an effort to court someone, to romance a person. It's not the act, but it's the effort to court. So it's like, um, you know, the dating, the gifts. The text messaging, just getting into this person's vibration 
I'm letting them know you're attracted to them and you feel that. So, this person wants to let you know how they feel and it's coming through brilliantly. I feel like I was just asking who this person is specifically while I was shuffling. Fire sign is the ones. Fire sign wants more earth sign. This person could be coming from your past. And this person is what? Hornery. When I see the king of wands, it says drowsy and tired and sincere. Drowsy, tired and sincere. Oh my God. It feels like they've just been thinking about you so much. It's like they, they feel tired. I don't know. Let the messages resonate with you. It could be a past person. Let's see if the cards want to tell. Is this sun energy that's coming up today for Cancerian? Is it a past person or a current person? Past person, current person. I mean, not current. I should say new. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, my God. So the new person could be water sign. King of Cups. New, 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 new. New love with the Ace of Cups. I don't think you're going to accept from the past person really. You know, the past person is the one that feels like what's working a lot. What they want to make you happy. And they have been dreaming and thinking about you. Um, and then we have the new person. Which is someone that's connected to the new love that's coming in. New energy of fire, passion, desire. So the sun energy may not be a fire sign. It just may be the energy that are coming with the intention, the intensity of love. Look at that. And we have the ten of cups, a new home, a heart connection, the only one. And then we have the two of cups, soulmate vibration. This is too much. This is a lot. And it's not too much. It's, it's a lot though. It's it's soulmate. It's um being together, being one together. That's what the card is saying. And we have all of these that flew out. It's almost like it's saying you're going to, you're sure to be happy and to be yourself in this relationship. It's almost like it's assuring me and it's coming from someone that's interested in you. Like you don't have to worry. You're going to be happy. I got you. All right, so leaving these messages here for you, Cancer, and I hope you found some that resonates with you. Remember, this is all going down today, okay? Or whenever today is when you re um, watch this reading. Much love to you. Thank you for watching this reading. I appreciate you being here. I do hope you found messages that inspires you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did, leave a like on the video, a thumbs up, share the messages with those you love, and also subscribe if you have not yet done so because all of your support is abundantly appreciated i love being here with you i will see you in the next one until then remember that you are all and all is within you take care of them.